I'm going to respond with regards to your question. I have no idea who bill that is and what the content of it is so being honest yes I do support because I support uh, green infrastructure and there is an issue with climate change it is real a lot of people don't believe it but I do and I would definitely like to sit at that table and make a decision with regards to what's going on and what we as individuals can do to help it. But right now, I can't speak on what you just presented. I come from a country that you don't learn how to save your environment. And one thing that I have to say that I learned in this country is how to work in favor of your environment. And I'm definitely anytime they go in the Senate, um, I do not remember all the bills. We have so many bills. Um, but I don't remember the number of all of them, but when it come about that, I always uh, support those bills. I think it's important for us to make, uh, especially uh, you have children and you want to save this planet for our children and our grandchildren, then I do believe in that uh, bill. So I, I co-sponsored that bill. I think it's a really good bill. Um, but there's a lot more that we need to do. Uh, I don't think it goes far enough. We really need to transform our economy. We need a Green New Deal for Rhode Island. But unfortunately, right now, most of the serious proposals we're talking about, um, there are some ones that could move us backwards. I'm strongly opposed to the Equidneck Island pipeline. I think it's a really bad idea. We do not need to be massively expanding fossil fuel infrastructure in our state. Um, and I'm also uh, opposed to the energy nominees. You know. Uh, that we have a number of nominees for top energy positions. You know, one of them was one of the top lawyers for National Grid in Rhode Island. Another one fought really, really hard for the Burrowville Power Plant. And the third one, you know, has been one of the forces pushing the Equidneck Island Pipeline. Um, and as there are a number of equity groups that have concerns about, about her views on, on uh, supporting low-income people. Um, so uh, I'm opposed to all those nominations. Um, I think if we stop them, that will have a big impact, but we also, we have to stop the pipeline. We cannot be expanding fossil fuel infrastructure. We should not be going backwards. We should be going only forwards on this issue. It's crucial. So we know that there's a Senate bill. I don't know if there's a House companion bill. I have not seen the bill, and I apologize if it's there. I have not seen it, so obviously I'd like to review it before I make any decisions. However, anything that's environmentally friendly, I support. I sat on the Environment Committee. Uh, so for me, that's that's like not even asking a question as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to support that, and I think what we're going to do is let our colleagues know that some of these, uh, quite like global warming and things of that sort, that renewable energy, these are all positive things and some things that are negative that are real. A lot of people still don't believe that these uh, phenomena are, are unreal. They think they're unreal. So yes, I do support it, but I would like to see the bill. Thank you.